All right then guys, it's the cartographer here and today we'll be doing the mother of taking chances. Up until the day I completed this trial, I lived in abject misery. I had never won a single bet I placed. I was deemed time's least fortunate man every year I'd been alive and most days I was struck by lightning. I could not work out why I was this unlucky and then I bought this game and completed this trial on my second attempt and I realized I had funneled an entire lifetime's worth of luck into that moment. This trial is absolutely outrageous. I have no idea why they thought this was a reasonable thing to put into the game. I have no good things to say about it and it's made my therapist very rich. Let's crack on. We have to kill and banish 10 grunts, also killing 10 hellhounds, and all we've got is two bolts to do it. As if that wasn't bad enough, we have to avoid all bleeding damage. We have two Constantina bombs. I think maybe three actually. Three Constantina bombs to help aid us with this. I'll try and show you what I did, but to be honest with you, I haven't played this trial all that much. I got really lucky. I hate it. I think it's terrible. I'm, I'll try my best to help you and show you what I think is the best tactic. I've messed around with it a bit in the meantime, and th this is the most consistent thing I can find, and I really hope it helps you in some way. Let's crack on. Right then, so on this mission, the first thing you'll notice is you've been kindly given two crossbows, some throwing knives, some blank fire decoys, and a Constantina bomb, well, three Constantina bombs. The first thing I do is run up here and throw my first Constantina bomb here, and my second one over here, a bit closer towards me. And the reason for that will become incredibly clear. So what this does is it sets up a little base for myself. Um, it means I don't have to worry so much about the, the dogs on the whole. And a lot of them will end up killing themselves. Once you've killed a grunt, just get back up into the safe spot just to throw off the, the pathing of the dogs. You kind of need to gimmick it a little bit. You can fall down here and it encourages grunts to sort of run towards you, which is nice, but they can still hit you. Luckily, you just need to avoid fire damage, uh, bleeding damage. You don't need to avoid any other sort of damage. So as long as you don't run into your own bomb or run into, um, a, get attacked by a dog, you should be okay. You can also get to back to your safe spot by running into this building, like I've just shown you. It's not always safe. Sometimes a dog will spawn in the building, which I think is unbelievably unfair. You'll see the, the dog death counter just rack up by itself, which is quite nice. The, oh, this guy. Okay, there we go. He's finally gonna come towards us. It's not a very fair trial. It's not a very fun trial. It's incredibly tight for time, it's incredibly sort of difficult, you kind of just have to rig it a little bit and run. You don't have copious bolts either, which is frustrating, you just have to make do. You can get a bit unlucky with where the grunts spawn, they can spawn really far away. They can also spawn in the building, which seems okay to start off with, but like I've said before, oh shit, like I've said before, the um, the, the dogs can spawn in the building, so it's not 100% safe. It's just sort of comparatively safe compared to the rest of the level. Um, like this, this is another grunt miles away. You can kind of like encourage them to come over, but I mean, look at all the dogs that are building up. You kind of do want them to get a bit closer before you go and collect the body, because otherwise it can get a bit messy. The dogs will wear away your wire after a time which is again just annoying as hell but you just have to cope with it i'm not going to get the hard the hard um version of this trial i don't think i think it's just too too difficult i'd love to give it with some commentary but that's my best bit of advice it's fairly safe if you do what i'm showing you it's just um tight for time unfortunately you need to be picking up your bows once you've killed the um, grunts as well. Uh, pick up your bolts, sorry, because it it will run out um, frustratingly. Where is this? Oh, it's here. I don't know if I can just punch. Oh fuck! Ah, so annoying. I thought I'd gone away with it. As you can see, the the, the hounds will just sort of come from nowhere. 
if I'd been a bit more careful, I'd been fine. It's a bit annoying because I, I think I'm sort of on track for a three star run because I've set up my, my little base thing. Just depends how these last three spawn. Like I said, I'm, the, the the main things are you've got this and that little wagon over there. That's little a little safe spot for you in a way. You can climb up here. You can get on the ladder. The dogs aren't so great at jumping on, you know, attacking you whilst they're on the ladder. They definitely can do it. It's happened to me. But they will spawn seemingly ad infinitum. Um, if any, if, if you find a safer way than what I'm showing you, please let me know. This, you know, I'm I'm willing to take constructive criticism. Um, it's just a messy trial, to be completely real with you. The final grunt is usually just sort of a, a, a mad final sprint. Um, you can get very unlucky with how they spawn. Like I said, like this one's one of the worst ones because, you know, the little base that we've set up for ourselves. It doesn't help at all, and you just sort of have to to cope really. Um, make sure that you're reloading. I forget incredibly often. You can hit them a couple of times, and that that works. The medium one, the medium medal isn't impossible, but it's still difficult. The ammo boxes are largely pointless. Don't get caught out in the open like this because the dogs on the straight are outrageously fast. And they will maul you. I think you can see the general principle. If I'd just gotten a, you know, obviously I was a bit desperate at the end, but that you can sort of avoid them. You can't outrun them. My advice is set up a little, your little safe base like I've shown you. Then you can jump on those hay bales. You can jump on those. Uh, that car, uh, the wagon, you can climb up that ladder all fairly safely. Um, the, the kill tell 10 hellhounds, if you set up your Constantina like I've shown you, you'll do by accident really, or by having to kill them just to move on. Um, be really careful, take advantage of the fact that the hellhounds are small and probably won't attack you on the ladder and they're really bad at cornering they're you know they're, they're my best ones like i said this wasn't the best run in the world but i think it shows off the general principles and i think if i'd been a, a bit luckier and then maybe a little bit quicker i maybe could have inked into that hard but it's a really tough challenge i'd say it's one of the toughest maybe in my top two or three um i wish you all the best and i really hope this helps
Thank mm-hmm. you.